Honestly, worst wipe ever, though, is when BSG gave everybody in the game 600 rounds of BP. I don't know what the f they were thinking, dude. That was the worst wipe ever. Like, I f***ing hated that wipe so much. Everybody had an SKS and everybody two-shot you. It was so f***ing stupid. I hope they never do that shit again. You know, BSG balances the whole 7.62 meta next wipe. It'd be nice to see more variety in guns. You know, honestly, man, the thing that's going to change that is, like, item availability and the armor hitbox system. So, like, eventually, like, body armor is not going to cover your whole torso and shit. Uh, so, whenever the armor hitbox system comes in, like, all ammo is going to be good. Because, like, for example, slicks aren't going to protect your entire torso and, like, you know, 5.11 tack rigs and all that shit. Like, armor hitboxes or body armor is going to function very similar to helmets in terms of there's areas of the armor that are not covering parts of your body and then ammo will be able to just deal full damage regardless. But I feel you on that, bro. The whole 7.62 meta is bullshit. It's just like, you know, BP, M61, two taps, you know, all day, and maybe three tap if you're slick. You know what I'm saying? It's no fun. Um, and it's it's what the, the game has kind of always divulged to every single wipe. But, you know, at the same time, it's just kind of a byproduct of development because the game's not done. And, you know, we're not necessarily supposed to keep having these wipe cycles over and over. and the way the economy and ammo and all that shit's supposed to be regulated is going to be different than what it is now. Uh, maybe if it's not drastically different, it'll be slightly different to where a lot of those things are just less available. Hey, bitch. You just fucking shoot me, bro? Hey, man. Why are you shooting me, man? Zabralo meta. Yeah, but even then, it's still not going to cover everything. There'll be soft armor. But e even, you know, lower pen ammo will be able to, you know, essentially penetrate those softer areas of the body armor so like for example like this uh this pressed armor here right so the plate is right here and right here it doesn't look like there's side plates but this little strap is soft armor so this will probably like have like level two armor right so if you have anything that's like over 25 pen it's gonna ignore the 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 side armor or anything around like the collarbone and the shoulders and stuff whereas the plate that is right about here will have that level three protection and so the, if you think about it the, like even like nine mil pst goes through level two has like 25 pen so it's a pretty good chance it's going to defeat level two um and so you know I, I think once that finally comes in the whole like 762 meta is going to be much less of a thing uh especially considering like the availability of those things is changed a bit so we can only you know wait and see but i understand the frustration though it's just with a game with like so much variety and so many different types of ammo and armor and equipment and weapons, usually after a certain point, you, you kind of just see the same shit. And that's no fun because you're killing the same dude with the same gun, with the same attachments, with the same ammo. You know, it's like, it just gets a little repetitive. You know, Tarkov's all about being dynamic and, you know, having all of these like sets of gear and weapons and stuff. It's, you know, just kind of like not interesting to find the same gun on players all the time. I'm pretty sure the next update is gonna have like loads of performance fixes. They did have a pretty large fix recently to like the network synchronization and like looking at people like move around and stuff has never like been smoother. Like, you know, uh, I mean, if, if you know what I'm talking about, at least, uh, like looking at players, like they would like vibrate and like jiggle around and like, they weren't like smooth. They're like kind of like doing this shit when they're moving. Now they're just like real smooth. Everything's like clean looking. Should they revamp the recoil system? Me and Trey were actually talking about that. Um, you know, I, I just, I, it's a kind of touchy subject. So it's like a part of me really likes Tarkov's real si recoil system. At the same time, I don't. And at the same time, Nikita already said they're not fucking changing the recoil system anyway, and it's final. So it's like, it doesn't matter what anybody says or discusses. It's not going to like massively change from what it already is. But what I think is that a lot of weapons need balancing in terms of like how their full auto fire effectiveness is. In other words, assault rifles, like literally any assault rifle, I don't fucking care what it is. If it shoots 556, 545, you know, whatever, like none of those guns should be like superior at full auto compared to an SMG or like a belt fed if you're in like a stationary position. Or if you maybe kit out like an HK with the longest barrel and like a nice muzzle brake and you have a drum mag and it's kind of like you're treating it like an automatic like weapon because a lot of the TTK and EFD. Uh, uh, stems from a lot of, uh, a lot, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's ammo availability, armor availability, 
it is the attachment availability because the lower the recoil of the gun the easier it is to use because the game controls the recoil for you uh, and then lastly it's the stability of your ability to shoot like you can fucking stand and hold like a fucking dime in this game and you can do it quickly so you can like go boom boom steady aim from like you just were sprinting you stop aim and you're you can aim on a dime you know all of those things affect ttk and then there's recoil right kind of going back to like attachments and so i just i want to see like sub guns be superior full auto and close range versus assault rifles i want to see assault rifles kind of be like a jack of all trades but like a master of none like they're you know most rifles you'd probably be using semi-auto on you know full auto if you're pretty close not like oh there's a guy 50 meters out let me just fucking spray him with my meta like mutant or something and just like every bullet hit him or some shit uh and then you have like guns like lmgs that are like really good at fire suppression and sustained fire and if you're in, like a stationary position using a bipod they're gonna fucking wreck house but is that something that maybe you'd want to go into a room and clear not necessarily but you totally could you could totally ramble that shit um and so it's it's really i think all about just making all of the guns good at the end of the day and have their place in terms of their category like assault rifle smg sniper like Every single category should have an advantage of some kind over all of the others, depending on how you modify it, if you will. Because, like, if all of the guns are good, and all of, all of, like, the types of builds out there are, like, effective, at least at, like, the meta level with, like, good ammo, then you'd see a lot of variety. There would be a lot of people using everything, and it would be kind of fun because, you know, people would build weapons based off their preference, not necessarily just because it's the best-in-the-slot thing with the highest min-max TTK. Like, if all guns are meta, then there's no meta. It's just, it's your fucking skills. So maybe there's, like, uh, like other kind of metas, but you get what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, you know, Nikita's already said a few times, like, they have, like, zero plans on changing the recoil system in terms of how it functions with, you know, I can hold my mouth like this and it kind of stabilizes. Like, they've already said, like, that's just, it's not going to change. Or that's not ever going away. Yeah, weapon bracing would be fantastic around, like, corners. Like, Modern Warfare has that, and it's an awesome feature. Oh, it absolutely, yeah, I'd love that awesome that actually make like left side peaks really like not scary because you could like mount your weapon like on that corner from the left side and then like swing granted like your enemy could see your gun right before you like swing the corner so they'll be able to gain information on you but at least you can like take that left side peak and like not be fucking exposing your entire body mutant it's kind of mutant's been like the meta gun like for a couple wipes and it's always switched to something else like it's it's been mutant like now and kind of like last wipe too before that, it was like 9 mil vector and like Val. And before that, it was just all AS Val and VSS. Before that, it was fucking M4 and like 5 for 5 AKs. You know, it's, it's always going to kind of switch around until like they can finally get to a point, like I said, where like if every gun is like pretty good and like they're moderately comparable, you know, they have like slight little differences in recoil and maybe control or an ergo or something. In my head, that would be the best solution because people could use the guns that they like the most and, and not feel like they're at a disadvantage to other players. Oh, that guy's a mutant. I have a 5 for 5 AK. Like, he's going to kill me. Honestly, worst wipe ever, though, is when BSG gave everybody in the game 600 rounds of BP. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, dude. That was the worst wipe ever. Like, I fucking hated that wipe so much. Everybody had an SKS and everybody two-shot you. It was so fucking stupid. I hope they never do that shit again. The competitive gamer in me would love a recoil pattern, honestly. Imagine being rewarded for putting in the time with a particular gun. I think that would be kind of cool. I, I, I actually would like to see, if anything, if there was a change to recoil, okay? Uh, if you kit out a gun a specific type of way, each specific, like, modification of that weapon with whatever attachments you should have should have a separate mastery. Again, this is kind of a random idea. So you have, your, like, your main mastery for the weapon, which, like, affects your reloads and stuff. But then you'd have a secondary mastery, which is based on the specific type of weapon that you build and the more you use that gun the more you like land shots and kill people the better you get with that specific type of build but it would scale so it's like if you had like the best gun with the best meta attachments it wouldn't really scale much because like you already like you already have the attachments that are worth the most money the gun's kind of at max performance but if you have like some lower tier attachments or something like that you could use that gun a lot and then you know kind of almost comparatively compete against a gun that's like almost meta level you know what i mean but what a fucking Impact grenade? Oh my god. Shit on, mate. What is that gun? It's so loud. <laughs>
No shot that's a fucking Lapua, dude. Thing's loud as fuck. <laughs> Shit on, mate. I was quieter than you, dude. Oh, he did have the fucking thick boy. Sheesh. Damn, a little fucking 30 something, dude. Aram, give me that thick boy. I was a patient boy and I paid out. Oh, man, that's a sexy scar, bro. That's got class. <laughs> 